this is me and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be answering the question which is better, horses or ponies? So we're going to be putting Joey against Casper today in a series of challenges. So let's meet the contestants. Here we have Joey. He is a 16-1 thoroughbred cross warm blood. He is eight years old and currently jumping up to a meter 10 with scope to go higher in the future. His favorite things include dressage, jumping, hacking, and eating. He really likes eating. And he's gonna be representing Team Horse. And here we have Casper, who is an overgrown 15-hand Connemara pony. He is 16 years old. His favorite things include hacking and jumping. Not so keen on the dressage, and he also really likes eating. My horses, they like eating. And he's going to be representing Team Pony. Now, let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win. Joey for Team Horses or Casper for Team Ponies. Now, if any of you have recently made the jump from ponies to horses, you will know that it's quite a big step up. They are very different to ride. So we'll be talking a little bit about that in today's video. Also, if you'd like more horse versus pony challenges, let me know in the comments below because I feel like this is going to be a really fun new series. But before we start, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Ridley for sponsoring sponsoring today's video and giving me the challenges for today. Now, if you haven't already heard about Ridely, it is an app for equestrians filled with loads of horsey content from tracking your own rides, setting your own riding goals. I like to use it kind of like a horsey diary. You can even put in when your horses are next to their vaccinations or the farrier. And one of my favorite parts is what I'm gonna talk about a little bit more in today's video is the absolute huge log of equestrian videos and tutorials from some of the best riders in the world, including Charlotte Dujardin, Carl Hester, and even the new world champion of jumping, Henrik von Eckermann, that I actually saw in Herney the other week win gold, which is very, very cool. But the videos that I've been set, or the challenges that I'm gonna be doing with Joey and Casper have been set by the incredible gold medalist for eventing, and also bronze medalist for dressage as well, so a very talented lady, um, Ingrid Klimka. So let's go into the arena now and set up those exercises. Welcome to the arena. So I've just watched the videos that Ingrid has done and um, these are really good exercises, especially if I always find that I go into the arena and I'm like, I have no idea what I want to do with my horses today when it comes to schooling and especially pole work as well. I sometimes find I just really lack inspiration of what I should do with the boys. Um, so we're gonna be doing that exercise. And also the reason why I chose these exercises from the Riley app is because we have a 20 by 40 school it isn't the world's largest sand school there is only so much space that we have and we also don't have like you know I feel like some pole work exercises can be really technical with thousands of different poles and we don't have that many poles so the first one only involves two poles and the second one involves four so let's get the first one set out and then I'll tell you a little bit more about it As you can see, we have two fences here. Now, the figure of eight exercise is the exercise we're gonna be doing. However, I've changed it up a little bit because uh, we have a slightly different setup to Ingrid. She has a huge arena with Cavalettis. We don't have a huge arena and um, we don't have Cavalettis, so I'm using jumps instead. Now, this is an exercise. It doesn't matter what level of rider you're at. If you're not jumping, you can use this as ground poles, or if you're jumping and you want to work on a little bit more of the height, you can raise them up a little bit more when jumping a course but today we're focusing on the canter because with this exercise I'm going to be approaching these fences in two sort of different ways the first time I'm going to do a nice big circle give myself lots of room to come over these fences in sort of a figure of eight motion um, but then the next time I'm going to do it I'm going to do a little bit more of a jump off turn work on those tighter corners that I feel like Casper is going to do really well with Joey maybe not so much he's not as well established he's still got some more muscle to build up being a younger horse um, and and also, although Joey can jump bigger, and you know, this exercise isn't jump about jumping big, I feel like the height that you're jumping with a horse is down to the horse, but with your 
canter and your approach, that's down to the rider and that's what we're working on with this exercise. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what the boys think to it. Also guys, I feel like this might be quite interesting also when it comes to Joey because when I jump him, I often have to put the fences up quite a bit for him to respect them. Like if they're too small, he will just clatter through and doesn't try. So this might be one for Team Pony, you know, for Casper because I really hope Joey doesn't go and clatter through these. I might have to do them as ground poles. So we actually kind of, I don't know, Joey, please, please respect the jumps. <laughs> Drowning in the lost emotion. Crying like some kind of ocean from my eyes. All right, Casper, you're tacked up. You're ready for action. The whole of Pony civilization is resting on your shoulders. Are you gonna do it for Team Pony? He looks half asleep. Also, if you're wondering, he does have a little cut on his legs. So that's why I've got some Sudocream on it. It's almost healed now, but because it's currently the summer and there are a lot of flies out, it just stops the flies from going on him. But he's all good. Um, I've been away recently filming at different horse shows, so I haven't jumped him for a little while. And I was gonna say he might find it a bit exciting, but with the sort of way he's standing now with his eyes closed, he doesn't look quite awake, but I know as soon as he sees those fences, he will be up for it. I don't know if anybody else does this, but sometimes even if I'm just doing flat work with him, I'll put some fences up or some jumps up in the arena because he's just a lot more upbeat when he thinks he's jumping, which is adorable. Flat work isn't quite his favorite thing. So that's why it's good that we're doing lots of pole work. Hey, mister. Anyway, I will see you guys once I've warmed him up and we are ready to go. But I got up out of the hopeless. Yeah, I got over you last night. Wasn't it easy to believe I would be broken forever? Thought I would never see the light. You didn't need me, so I went looking for somebody better. Thought I'd be sadder, but I'm fine. Washing my tears away, I watch my heartbreak go down the drain. Oh my goodness, Casper absolutely loved that exercise. He was really taking me to the fences and had so much fun. He's definitely a horse where when I do pole work or jumping, he finds it a lot more exciting compared to flat work and dressage. And even though, you know, this is a really good exercise if you don't want to jump your horse really high and, you know, a horse only has so many jumps in them and you can even use it as poles. And Casper found it so much fun, especially those tight turns as well. I always forget when you go on ponies, how tight the turns they can really go. And he felt like a, felt like a little motorbike zooming around those corners but anyway now it's time for joey all right so i've just warmed joey up so excuse if i'm a little bit out of breath still need to get my fitness up a little bit more Anyway, Joey to warm up feels really good. The only thing is riding Joey feels so different to riding Casper. It's only a few canter strides along the long side and you're on the other side compared to Casper who's a lot shorter strided. It gives me a lot more time to prepare before the jump. So to make sure that we've got a good rhythm, our straightness is correct and all those kind of things. So this exercise is gonna be a lot trickier, I believe for Joey, but we'll see how he finds it and let's go. Good boy. Washing my tears away, I watch my heartbreak go down the drain. Hey, 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 my heartbreak go down the drain. Hey, 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 my heartbreak go down the drain. Oh my goodness, I'm actually really, really happy with Joey. I thought he was gonna struggle with that exercise a little bit more. I haven't actually taught him how to do flying changes yet, so sometimes he was a little bit iffy with getting his legs the correct way around after landing the fence and making sure that he was on the correct canter lead. He sometimes got it correct at the front and just struggled a little bit to change at the back. But apart from that, I am super happy with him and he actually managed to do some tighter turns than I was expecting. So well done, Joey. Let's see what you like in the next challenge, shall we? Yeah. So I have 
just set up Ingrid's exercise on the Ridley app of jumping on a circle. Now I've set up four fences. Again, you can make it as technical or as simple as you want. You could do it with ground poles or you could do it with bigger fences if you're jumping sort of a course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna do one fence first and then gradually add more and more just to build it up slowly until eventually I will do all four fences going around on a circle. So let's see what the boys think. Oh my goodness, Casper absolutely loved that exercise. I could really feel his like little ears prick up as we were coming to each sort of cavaletti or fence in this case. He just had so much fun. He was on fire as well. He had such a good canter. And again, this is a really good exercise for getting that good show jumping canter. And he just felt absolutely incredible. Well done, Caspi. So anyway, let's see what Joey thinks. I have a feeling he's gonna find this a little bit more tricky because Casper's a lot shorter strided he can fit a lot more strides in so if we for example were coming to one of the fences a little bit dodgily I could just hold him back a little bit and add an extra stride when I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with Joey as much we'll have to see I feel like Joey maybe in a few years time might be better than Casper at this exercise because he will have built up a lot more muscle and be a lot more balanced but we'll have to wait and see well done Caspi Oh, good boy. So good. I can see it in my head. It's better than the others. I know I could be the best. Yeah, I could be a lover. You don't cross my mind because you're living it. If you were on mine, it'd be a thing. Baby, let me love you. Yeah, I want to be a lover. So, motion falling in. goodness I am so impressed with both horses <laughs> here's a little treat Caspi it's gonna be really difficult to pick who is the winner but I think overall by the feeling of it I'm gonna have to look back at the footage when I edit it but I think Casper for Team Pony is gonna have to win this one because he just felt so balanced around the tight turns he could really do the sort of nippy corners and he felt absolutely amazing so well done Caspi here is your treat however Joey if we go over to him he really exceeded all of my expectations. I feel like a few months ago, when he had a little bit less muscle, he would have really struggled on those exercises. I feel like also it was only kind of like last summer that he stopped growing. He definitely went through a phase where his brain hadn't really caught up with where his legs were. He was a little bit like Bambi on ice, a little bit gangly. And I feel like he would have knocked the poles a little bit more. So I am very, very impressed with him. Obviously he's still young and we've got a lot more to work on, but he's been a bit of a late developer but I'm absolutely just I'm just so proud of him you've done amazing as well Joey yes so anyway guys before today's video ends I'd just like to say a huge thank you again to Riley for sponsoring today's video if you'd like to find out more information I'll leave some links in the description below because the videos on there are so helpful one of the questions I get asked the most if that's in comments or at meetups is how can I improve my jumping or how can I improve my canter or all these questions about riding and I feel like on the Riley app I feel like that will just answer all of your questions they have so many different exercises tips and tricks from Olympic riders as I said before riders a lot better than myself so I'll leave a little link if you want to check it out also let me know in the comments below what horse versus pony challenges you would like to see with a sort of Casper versus Joey of course today's video was kind of like a 
Casper versus Joey more than a horse versus pony, but it was still a lot of fun. So let me know what you think these boys should do next. Also, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. It's okay, Joey. I'll get you some more treats. Yes, because you're so good.